Hello everybody, my name is Pooks, and welcome to the second part of my 360 degree video rec room tutorial. This part will focus on editing and placement of objects in your 360 degree space. If you didn't catch part 1 of the tutorial, make sure to check it out using the link in the description below. Now when placing people and objects in a 360 degree space like this, keep in mind that the viewer will be able to see everything. So make sure that there are things to see all around your shot. This could include things to the left, right, and behind, as well as things above your shot and below, as it will all be visible. Now, right now, I'm in front of the streaming camera directly, meaning that if you were to look at the streaming camera in Rec Room, I'm directly in front of the viewfinder. This means that I will be in the middle front of the shot when it is uploaded to YouTube. Anything edited in, like text, will also be directly in the middle if you edit it directly in the middle of your editing frame. You can edit in anything you want in an editor in post-processing, but keep in mind that it will be enlarged and wrapped to fit the 360 scale of the video. It's best to shrink down edited in elements like images and text so that they're smaller and don't take up so much space. When making 360 degree videos, it will be up to you to play around and experiment with adding these types of elements in post-production. As you can see here, I have added in some text in post-production, and it appears above me. When working with 360 degree shots in VR, in the end it will be up to the cameraman to play around and find out what works best with them. Be sure to always keep in mind your surroundings, as well as where you place objects in your space. After a while, you'll be making 360 degree videos like a pro. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching the second part, I know this was short, but it was just a small example of what 360 degree videos look like in Rec Room. My name is Pooks, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!